All right, in this video, we are going to be adding uh, Nginx as a front end to our node application, which is running on port 3000. And we're going to be setting it up as a load balancer. So as our application grows and grows and grows, we can add a second, third, fourth server, and it will load balance between the four. Um, and then we're also setting it up to where uh, it will cache some static assets to increase performance. So I've got my application server. We'll call this the dot two box. Uh, the dot two box is running on port 3000 like a normal uh, node application would. You can see as I load requests, they're coming through. I'm SSH'd in over here so you can see it. Um, and here's a dot four box. You can install Nginx on the same box if you don't think your application is going to grow. But I already know I'm planning on multiple boxes to come. So I'm going to install Nginx on its own box. Um, you know, to better handle the load. So the dot four box currently does nothing. This is where the domain will resolve is to this IP address. And I'm SSH'd into the dot four box. Let's go ahead and uh, get Nginx set up. The first thing you're going to want to do is sudo apt get updates, which I've already ran. I don't need to do that. Um, so then you're going to go sudo apt get install Nginx which I've already done. It says it's at the newest version. So now Nginx is installed. You can go cd slash etc slash host, not, not slash hosts, slash Nginx. And then you can see here's my Nginx. I've got a default Nginx configuration file. Let's take a look at that. Um, let's vim and look at this guy. You can see by default it started four worker processes. You're going to want kind of as a rule one worker process per CPU that you're running. That's kind of the most efficient way to run Nginx. Um, it's running seven, 768 uh, connections and all this other stuff. And as you can see, let's scroll down here. These are all decent things to look into to get to know what they are. Um, but what it's doing is it's also including any file in the sites enabled directory. So that's where we're gonna add our that's where we're gonna add our specific configuration. So let's go into the sites enabled folder. And then there might be a default file in here. If not, you're gonna want to create it. Um, defaults. Let's go ahead and create that. I'm going to go over here. Here's the gist that I've created for you with the code that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to copy the upstream project. Let's paste that. And I'm also going to copy the first portion of the server. And I'm going to wrap that out. So what I've done here is I've got three nodes. I've got my dot two node, my dot three node, and my dot five node. Um, let's go ahead and comment out the other two and save my file. Um, what I'm also gonna be doing, here's the actual server that's going on, is I'm listening to port 80, which is your default port for your URL, and then I'm going to be forwarding that on to project, which is up here, and so any nodes I add will automatically get load balanced. Let's save this, and then let's go sudo service engine x start. There we go, starting engine x, and now I should be able to refresh and it's automatically forwarding it to the dot two server. You see, as I load this, then the requests are coming through to the dot two server. Awesome, let's say the load has increased um, and we should now add some nodes. I've got some more nodes going on here. Um, let me drag one over here for now. Let's go ahead. So we're getting a lot of traffic constantly. We don't ever wanna have to shut down Nginx. Let's go back into our default file. Let's uh, uncomment these two servers, save and quit. Nothing has changed. If you notice, I'm loading these. It's still all the requests are going through to my dot two server. It's because I have to reload, not restart, reload engine X. So I'm going to go sudo service engine X reload. That's going to keep it going. It's going to reload the configuration file. And now let me go ahead and minimize you, bring you over here. All my requests are now getting load balanced between all three boxes, which is awesome. Now let's have some fun and do some bench testing, shall we? Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to turn those back off. Turn you off, turn you off, save and reload. Okay, let's run some bench testing here. Let's run an Apache bench, pretty basic. I'm gonna run 40 concurrent requests, gonna run a thousand requests and we're gonna hit the dot four server, which is all going to be coming through here right now. Running 100, 200, 300, 1,000 requests. You can see that took about five and a half seconds to complete. Let's go ahead and go back into defaults. Add my load balancing here. 
reload my configuration file and let's start seeing this fly I'm gonna make you take up a little different space here there we go let's run that exact same benchmarking now you can see the requests are flying through all of them and that's going way faster instead of five seconds that took about three seconds to run great let's go ahead and add some static caching now I'm gonna edit my default file again and let's cache static assets, which is this little piece of code right here. We're basically going to take anything CSS, J, JS, uh, PNG, any images, and we're going to cache them. They're not going to ex they're not going to reload to Express for 168 hours. So let's go ahead and add this in. There we go. Uh, let's reload that service and now let's go ahead and bench test style sheets. I think that's style sheets style.css. I believe that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and bench test that guy. There we go. So that flew through as you can see. Um, almost no time whatsoever. Complete requests. Uh, let's give that a bench actually before I'm kind of static caching that. Let me edit my default here. And let's go ahead and comment this whole thing out. I didn't give you a chance to see what it does without it. Let's save. Let's reload. There we go. You can see the style sheets are all coming through here. Um, our requests are coming in at a rate of 20 milliseconds to 194 milliseconds. That took about 1.3 seconds. Let me edit that again. Reload. Boom, that took almost no time at all. We went down from 20 milliseconds to about four milliseconds, which the highest is still around 210, but that went down to 0.3 seconds. So as you can see, static caching your assets with Nginx is way faster than serving them up with Express. So that's kind of a little bit of fun with Nginx. Um, you can cache, as I think I gave you some examples of how to cache some different, you can cache specific API URLs, uh, which is nice to cut down the load on your servers. Have some fun with that and have a great day.